Written by Chinese philosopher Han Fei, the Han Feitze is a work of philosophy and the greatest work of legalism, a classical school of thought that emphasizes the need for strict laws to control the inherently selfish behavior of humans. It sits in contrast to previous Chinese philosophers like Confucius and Lao Tzu who introduced people's innate sense of ethics and ability to do good. It ignores any morality by asserting that people will be covetous of riches and fame, and thus a successful administration would have institutions that reward social productivity and punish behavior against the state. The Han Feitze was developed during a turbulent era in Chinese history. From 475 to 221 BCE, several small states fought hundreds of wars vying for control of the whole region in what became known as the Warring States Period. However, despite the devastation and violence that resulted, these conditions were ripe for multiple political theories and philosophers that explored how people could best be governed. They strove for a successful philosophy that would be able to unite China's people and resolve their violent unrest. Han Fei was one such product of this period. He combined work of earlier theorists such as Shang Yang and Shen Pu Hai, who strove to translate new philosophies into concrete administrative action. Some major principles included in his work are unified regulation, assigning tasks to be accomplished, and using rewards and punishment to motivate people's inner nature. When all these are applied, the ideal of Wu Wei, a leaders in action is realized. The best leadership possible should not need to act beyond what has been established for the work to be carried out on its own. Han Fei's teaching and his body of work was adopted by China's first emperor, Chen Shui Huang. It met the challenge of bringing wealth, power, and unity to the government. Instead of being compartmentalized as just one of the Chinese philosophers, Han Fei could be portrayed as ending that historical thread of musings about the ordering of human society and human nature. After the harsh Qin dynasty collapsed, the Han dynasty allowed multiple philosophies. Confucianists could then coexist with legalists without either being outlawed or punished. Over time, though, the harshness of legalism led to its decline, the people hated its strict penalties for any behavior deemed contrary to the state. As the Encyclopedia Britannica notes, the Qin Dynasty's brutal implementation of legalism led to its falling out of favor and ultimate discredit. That is not to say that the Han Feitze is irrelevant. China's history of political change has continually reflected legalistic tendencies to one degree or another. Its underlying principles of achieving order and stability through standardization contributed greatly to centralized government that endured for centuries. Although the whole school of thought did not persist, it helped create legal institutions to support other enduring Chinese philosophy. The Han Feitze has been studied widely throughout Asia and remains an important text in the history of China's political development.